I love you, BB, and if it's quite alright, I love you, BB. Hi, my name's Johnny, and today we are taking a look at the Yamaha BB735A. she is my Yamaha. I've been wanting another Yamaha for a long time. I really enjoyed the BB343 we checked out and I've wanted to pick one of these up ever since uh, playing one in a shop near to me. I've said this before and I'll say it again god damn it. Yamaha are such an underrated company and they just make everything from guitars to motorbikes to condoms probably I don't know. And they just seem to be like so good everything they do but is that the case for this bass right here this line of broad basses are still made in indonesia but they come with some slightly fancier features compared to the cheaper alternatives you can get currently in 2024 these are priced around a thousand pounds new this particular model comes in an amazing tobacco sunburst and this matte black which uh for the five string which i've got here i think is a great great looking bass starting at the top we've got this very handsome headstock the tuners aren't completely black they're almost like a, a gunmetal gray and that's really cool for the hardware i think the small details that i really like about this bass is things like the nuts and the inlays they're not white so they're slightly like off-white almost like the coffee stained tea stained color i absolutely love that against the all black body the neck shape is actually super comfy quite flat and not too wide so even for a five string it doesn't feel ridiculously big in your hands so if you're worried about moving up to a five string then this is potentially a good model for those teeny danny fingy wingies of yours moving on up we have got a truss rod adjustment at the bottom of the neck every base should have this i love this yamaha's own bridge this is the same hardware that comes on the pro series so that's really great and before we get into all of this on the back you will see yamaha's signature kind of angled string through body the strings go through at a 45 degree angle just to give it a little bit more tension on the strings and that's just one of those small innovations that i just really really enjoy about these basses the same can be said here for this six bolt construction where we've got 45 degree angle bolts going in there to secure this maple neck in place now the bs de resistance feature of this pace this bit here is actually an led and this will light up when your battery is running low why don't more bases have things like that it's a constant like state of fear that you live in as someone that uses an active base because you're not sure when it's going to give out. So that is a really, really cool feature that I love. Now, speaking of things that I love, I love it when you press like on this video and subscribe. <laughs> Excellent segue. Let's move on up to our electronics now. Traditional PJ setup. We have then got it combined with this three band preamp. We've got a bass, middle, treble, master volume, and a pickup blend. And this little switch here switches it from passive to active. Now, let it be said, all of this, all of this feels fantastic quality. In your hands, it it just feels brilliant there's absolutely no complaints one little grumble i have though the notches in between aren't they're very subtle if you wanted to quickly switch between pickups or make a slight adjustment adjustment make a slight adjustment it's not so easy to do so and you really got a feel for that notch before i give any more of my thoughts let's have a listen to how this bad boy maybe that's what bb should stand for really the yamaha bad boy 735 oh, let's have a listen to what this thing can do for the majority of the demo we're going to be going through the line 6 hx stomp using the galleon kruger head and the ampeg svt cab Thank you. 
Well, well, there we go then. Let me know in a comment down below what you think about the sound of this bass. And is it worth a thousand pounds? Now I know that a lot of you have been very excited for this bass to be coming on the channel, just like I've been excited to be coming on your mum. And I don't want to say I'm disappointed. Like, I'm, I'm not. It does sound good, but it hasn't blown me away. The passive sound, I actually feel like I kind of prefer. The preamp is just a bit weak. I just don't think it... I just don't think it gives you that much flavor or that much identity. I think it's a bit bland sounding. That being said, you could change this out. But if you're spending a thousand pounds, do you really want to then go and spend another couple of hundred on a nice preamp to put in here when you could actually just get a cheaper bass and do that the way i'm going to think about this is if this was completely passive would i still think it's a great bass and yes i would think it's a great bass this bass plays fantastically wow words this plays god this bass plays absolutely amazing so so good and it is evident where the money has been spent for a thousand pounds you're getting really good quality items all together no sharp fret edges solid build quality i do like it a lot i just don't love it but i have been told over the years that tone is in the hands so perhaps it's these guys letting me down but that's enough about what i think i want to know what you think let me know in the comment down below what you think about these bases and what other Yamahas you think I should check out. Although not falling head over heels for this one, I do really like and respect Yamaha as a brand and would love to check out some more. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Well, that's a better shot. I've moved my light and now that looks a lot better. Hmm. Oops.